Fox 10 photographer Rick Davis. Hey, Mike. You're always at the scene. You're always at the scene of a breaking news event. So now it's time for people to really get to see you. Well, you know, Mike, uh, there's a lot of news out in the yeah. valley, and it uh, just happens that uh, we're able to go out and cover it and bring it to the people. You just never know what uh, what no. news is going to happen. No, you never know. And today, uh, you were really on the scene of a really bad accident that we saw a little bit earlier in the day of this truck accident on the I-10. Yeah, so there was a really bad accident. Every, anyone driving around town could see the heavy black smoke around the valley, and especially it being the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, this was a spectacular, massive accident. Luckily, nobody was injured. That's amazing when you get to see, when when you first see these images here, it looks like, oh no, this is going to be a really, really bad accident. But it turned, how did that person able to just walk away? You know, the good thing about this, looking back and now understanding what the, the officials were able to get information about is that that cab uh, actually hit the median and rolled into the eastbound traffic as it was going westbound. So the driver was able to get out on the eastbound side of I-10, and I believe that that passenger they had a passenger too, and they walked away. They were talking to authorities and uh, up walking around. I think they maybe had some sc cuts and scrapes, but other than that, they were fine. That's amazing to walk away from something so serious like that. And Rick, maybe explain to our viewers how you uh, how you're alerted of uh, uh, breaking news as, as, as it's coming in. Well, you know, being in, working in a newsroom, uh, you you're able to monitor a lot of different agencies uh, frequencies that they give out to the public. Uh, for emergency situations, and that's what we do. Uh -huh. uh, we do that to, to bring news to, to the public and inform uh, the public, especially in a situation like this, uh, especially on such a busy uh, weekend coming up, to avoid the area. Uh, it, whether it be a traffic accident, a major fire, uh, you never know. It could be some a rescue. You just never know uh, what information uh, as a news operation that you want to get in, in uh, uh, share with the public. Right, right. And for, for a lot of people that are that are watching, they get to know that your job every day is different. You don't know what it's going to be like. No, and, and, and it, like with this fire yeah. here, you know, you roll up on a scene like this, there's smoke, heavy black smoke all over the place. Number one, you want to try and find a place that's safe and away from the turn to what the, the emergency uh, responders are doing so you're not in their way, but also be able to capture it, bring it back into the newsroom so that we can show the public what area to avoid and at the same time cover it because, you know, there, there are stories here. There are people's lives sure. that are affected and people want to know what's going on. Oh, absolutely. And Rick, uh, you spent so many uh, years here. What are some of the, the big stories that you, you remember throughout the years that really that really uh, still impact you oh, or my, that you remember about? I tell you, there, there are so many stories. Uh, every day there's something different. Sure. I mean, I, I've covered a lot of different stories, obviously. You know, probably one of the biggest biggest ones was the O.J. Simpson trail I covered with John Hook uh, back in the day. I covered the L.A. riots. I, wow. I was there as probably one of the first news crews from Arizona. Uh, you know, that was something because they told us when we landed they had good news and they had bad news. Uh -oh. So the bad news was our, our hotel burned down. Wow. The good news was they put us in a, another hotel that had 24-hour security. Oh, there you so go. that was pretty good to yeah, hear. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, and, yeah. and if it's going to burn down, at least you're not there yet, right? Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. So, you know, stories like that. But, you know, I love sports, and I mean, we covered the, the Suns when they went to the NBA Finals, and, of course, the Diamondbacks went in the World Series, uh, the Super Bowls and things like that. Yeah. So they're all different. It all just depends on uh, what what angle and, and how it affects, you know, the coverage that we're doing at that time. Sure, sure. And uh, for those of you just joining us here, I'm, I'm joined by our photographer, Rick Davis, who was at the scene earlier of this fire that was really – uh, take a look at that Sky Fox aerials there as well with this big rig accident that, that happened on the I-10 and it happened on a day where, well, there's going to be a lot of people on the roadways. You know what, one thing, speaking with DPS, they plan ahead for these type of weekends when there's a lot of people trying to get out of town. You know, they've got, they've had some command posts along the I-17 to go up north for camping and things like that. And I'm sure they plan for whatever happens inside the metro area. But uh, this one here, you know, uh, no matter what you do, 
this type of a massive fire is going to be something that uh, you just can't plan for. You just have to attack it the best way that you can. There we go. Yeah, yeah. You said it their best, and, and they were really, uh, it was great to see how fast they were able to put that out when it, it didn't. It looked at times where it looked like it was real bad. Mike, they did They did such a great job. Um, the fire department, although they their hydrants along I-10 uh, in some of the business areas, they cut a, uh, a line, a fence out and we're able to get their hoses hooked up to that fire hydrant and then onto the, the freeway. That was incredible to see. Now they said they never had to use it. They had enough water pressure in their in their fire trucks on the freeway to, that they that was just a backup, but it was incredible to see all the foresight that they have for any kind of event. They're always three, four, five steps ahead of whatever happens, so they're ready. That's amazing. Yeah. That was yeah. amazing to see them put that kind of work in there. Absolutely. Well, Rick, thanks so much. Giving us that update and uh, for always being on the breaking news alerts there. Anytime, the Mike. We're, we're, we're yeah. busy sometimes in the morning there, but you're always calling in. That's great. Thank you. Okay. My pleasure. Yep. Appreciate it. All right, brother. Have a good yep. weekend. More news now coming up next, everybody.